Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. So it is around 8 a.m. this morning. So far, I went ahead and started messing with my dried oranges, trying to make a wreath inspired by one that I saw on Garden Answers YouTube channel. I'll leave her linked below. I love her, she's amazing. You probably already know her. This is where I'm at right now. As you can see, I'm already starting the layers up at this end, but I ran out of oranges. So this morning, I ran to Target, and grabbed another bag of oranges and they're in my oven now. Let me show you how I've gotten to that point. Using a piece of cardboard I had, I traced one of my chargers from my dining room table and then one of the dinner plates just to get some sort of wreath form to use. And then I just cut it out with a box cutter. I have my hot glue gun heating up. I'm doing this really early this morning to decide if I need to go ahead and dehydrate more oranges. But basically, I'm going to just layer these on like side by side. Let me show you exactly what I mean. The first layer I'm going to do are going to be side by side, just like this around, and then I'll layer and build on. I really don't think I'm gonna have enough oranges, so definitely, most likely, we'll have to go get another bag and dry some more. I am going to try to take into consideration that some of my oranges are going to be darker than others. So try to evenly disperse those, but basically I'm gonna put them down side by side, just like that. And then we will fill in the rest. I'm just going to rest and chill out while I dry these oranges, about every 40 minutes, I'm gonna flip them until they're dry. It's gonna take about three and a half, four hours. At least that's what it took for my other ones. So yeah, that's what's happening this morning. Last night, Steven and I finally sat down, kicked off break by watching The Prom. I absolutely loved it. Meryl Streep was outstanding. Carrie Washington was outstanding. The two young women were so amazing. Like, it was a beautiful cast, an inclusive story and I really, really enjoyed it. I listened to the soundtrack this morning, and probably as I work with these oranges today, I'm probably gonna play it again on Netflix. Really loved it, I highly recommend it. All right, oranges drying, relax, then we'll catch up. So it is now like 11 o'clock. We are still drying oranges, taking a break from them after this next timer goes off in about six minutes, and I am actually going to make a Christmas tradition if you've been watching Vlogmas. I think I even made it on my very first Vlogmas. This is the recipe I've been using for years. It's for cracker candy. It's super simple. I have a baking sheet lined with like a sleeve and a half of saltine crackers. I am super particular and like they have to fit perfectly. And I like cut these with a knife <laughs> to make them work. I'm very weird. So what I'm going to do is get but two sticks of butter and a cup of brown sugar, and I'm gonna get that boiling. <clears throat> okay. So I'm gonna get this melted down and boiling. I'm gonna keep it real with all of you. So like I said, I've been making this for probably 12 years. I think I've made it every Christmas for Steven. It's one of his absolute favorites. And I'm gonna keep it real with you. You're gonna see people call this, I think they call it like Christmas crack or something like that, and they put all sorts of weird stuff on top. I'm telling you, keep it really simple. Just some pecans. Get really good chocolate chips and keep it nice and simple. It is perfect with a cup of like black coffee because it's super sweet. Don't get crazy. We got this to a boil. I just set the timer for three minutes. This is gonna thicken up really quick. I try not to wanna stir it a lot. I just kinda let it be. All right, now I'm just going to pour this mixture 
over my crackers, spread this toffee mixture out as evenly as I can, trying to get all the corners covered, all the little gaps filled in. I mean, it's brown sugar and butter. What is there not to love? Now we're gonna throw this in an oven, 400 degrees, five minutes. This is such a quick thing to make. All right, friends. So that's been in the oven for five minutes. Now all I'm going to do is sprinkle. I had a couple chocolate chips left over from cookies the other week. I'm just gonna sprinkle the chocolate chips all over this. Let them sit for a while so that they start to melt and then spread them out as well. Try to get all the way to the edges if you can. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some chopped pecans and get an even coat of them. Now this is an important step. Take a spatula of some kind and just go and I like to tap them all down so they sink into the chocolate. That way when you break these up, they don't fall off and go everywhere. So just gonna press those down in. Beautiful, I'm gonna throw this in the freezer probably for the rest of the day. All right, some of my oranges have dried out so I think I have enough to go ahead and finish out my wreath. The orange wreath is up. I am gonna change out the color of bow after Christmas is over because that actually matches the tree, but it looks really good. I'm happy with it. I just wired a hook on the back, made sure I could remove the bow easily to switch out the color, but I think it looks really, really good. I'm happy with it. Got some mail. Someone on my team sent me this shirt. It says how to contact me. Call, text, email, smoke, signal, carrier pigeon. I've been saying that to them all year, uh, basically because there's no way that I'm not reachable to support them. So someone sent me this shirt, which is just hysterical. And then we'll walk through this a little bit later, but the ink and volt planner came for the year. It's really pretty, the color is better than I thought. It's like a very pretty deep green. I'm happy with it. So a little bit of happy mail came today because Steven does not trust me to do things. No, I, I trust you. It's just sometimes they go awry and then I have to fix them. So he has decided he'd rather just do the bathroom on his own. He has started to do some of the bathroom stuff. So he put the water closet sign up, which is so cute because over there is the laundry one. I really love it. And then he did do the toilet hold, paper holder, which looks so good. And he did the new towel rack. And then he said, because we have to probably leave around 2.30 and it's already past noon, we will do the mirror, the lights, and the plumbing probably tomorrow. But there's no rush. We'll get to it when we get to it. All right, we're gonna eat lunch so that we can get ready to go. We're gonna have to leave you this afternoon. You'll have to be a good boy. Wolf will be a good boy. He has a poker game. Oh, well then perfect. He won't mind us leaving. I thought he had dance rehearsal. Uh, that's after the poker game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whose money is he using? Um, for the poker game? Yeah. Um, Yours. I think he's, he's, he may or may not have committed uh, some act of uh, financial malfeasance, but he'll pay it back. I know a good lawyer. The cracker candy is all chilled. I'm now just breaking it up. Oops, I got a little tin foil on that piece. Things like the German glass bulbs, which have stayed quite popular, although many of them are plastic today. They're making their first appearance in the 
70s. Fairly expensive. Most families wouldn't have one anyway. Oh, Butler's Pantry. Now look at that. Sewing supplies in, some new needles, thread, ribbon, maybe some pretty buttons for a new dress that she was working on. Everything. Yeah. Like, oh, this is a great little crafting project to do. <laughs> well, I love a DIY. So like, <laughs> next year's tree. I love that she's like, has her apron with her Jordan almonds in it. Yes. So she's called a bonbon doll. So she would have been like a, on a, like a centerpiece on a table under okay. the tree. And... Her um, apron would have had the uh, ribbon pockets sewed on them for the Jordan almonds or other treats. Oh um, so, so her apron would be filled with sweets. So not only is she beautiful, she is tasty as well. So who needs a candy dish? I mean, they have a bonbon doll. That's amazing. Thank you. And so they would have made this. I love that they have the lantern lighters for cell phones. So this is the German experience. Look how beautiful. I love the way they did the ribbon on the wreath. gazebo with the tree. It's so pretty. I've been wearing a hat while we were out and we had such a good time. We are home. It's six o'clock. It's a big night out. Steven and I were like, I don't feel like we've been in the car together for a long time. So <laughs> we came bearing gifts while we were at the village. I bought some pancake mix, some really high quality maple syrup, and then each year they do a different colored shirt. This year was navy blue, so I bought a navy blue shirt. And then I also, really excited about this, picked up a seat at the table from Beekman 1802. It's like their recipe book. I'm really excited about it. Then we swung by the liquor store. My favorite Prosecco is La Marca. So we bought some La Marca just so we have it for the holidays. So we're all stocked oh up there. And then I also got a rosé that was highly recommended. Um, and then we also swung by our favorite Indian place. Steven ordered us Indian food. So we got some garlic naan. We got some samosas, which are my favorite. And then we got some chicken curry. Steven got regular, I got extra hot. So we're gonna put on some comfy clothes and settle in for the night. All right, friends, I have my new shirt on and we were able to finish the vlog and we are just going to chill out the rest of the night. Steven and I are gonna have a glass of wine and I'm gonna sign off like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.